Good morning, everyone. We read from John's Gospel this morning. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them. And none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're continuing today with that priestly prayer of Jesus, John 17. I always remember the nuns in school saying, whenever you use a pronoun, it has to refer to something or to someone, usually in a sentence nearby. Today, in this gospel, Jesus is using a lot of pronouns. I counted them. The word them is used 12 times, and the word they is used five times in just nine verses. So that's a lot of pronouns. And the nuns would be upset because you wonder who the them and who the they are. <laughs> Jesus isn't terribly explicit, at least in this account. But we know who he's talking about. He's talking about his disciples. He's talking about those around that table with him, and even you and me, that we may be one. Today, as we begin another day, let us consider the fact that Jesus prays for us, that he has a desire for us, and he clearly makes that desire known to the Father and to every disciple. We are loved, we are known, and we are chosen. God be with you.